Welcome to Channel Game IQ. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn that I must say I think was one of the best games released on PlayStation 4. You've got it, the visually stunning Horizon Forbidden West. We're going to start off with the latest trailer and details of the game, then I'm going to pass you over to the game's director, Marcus Dijon, who will run through the amazing gameplay that I promise you do not want to miss. Let's quickly run through the details of the game. Horizon Forbidden West is an up-and-coming action role-playing game developed by Guerrilla Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. It's set to be released in 2021 for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. The old ones perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. In their place came new life. Nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depth I won't explore. No secret I won't unlock. No barrier. I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Okay, now it's time to pass you over to the director, Matthias Dijon, to talk about this amazing game. Hi, my name is uh, Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West is an open world action RPG that takes place in the distant future. And you play as Aloy, a hunter of the Nora tribe, who is on an epic quest to solve mysteries and secrets that will change her life forever. The title Forbidden West actually refers to a mysterious new frontier that stretches from Utah in the USA all the way to the Pacific Ocean in the West. So ever since the first game, we really wanted to make a world that is so beautiful that you just want to be there. And with the additional power of the PlayStation 5, we can make that world even more detailed and more vibrant and more immersive. With the PS5's SSD, there will be virtually no loading screens. So in an open world game like Horizon Forbidden West, if you open up the map and fast travel from one end to the other, restarting from a checkpoint will be super fast. And when you boot up the game, you're right there in the action. As Aloy travels into the Forbidden West, she discovers stunning valleys, deserts and ruined cities full of iconic landmarks. For the sequel, we wanted to go wider and deeper, so the map is a bit bigger but we also wanted to let players discover what lies hidden beneath the surface of lakes and rivers. The landscapes may be stunning, 
but danger lurks in every corner in the Forbidden West. It is home to a large variety of machines. Shell snappers that guard the shores and swamps. Snap moths that hunt the waterways. And sun wings that patrol the skies. Players will discover dozens of new machines as they explore the Forbidden West. And each of these machines has to be scanned and studied in order to fight them effectively. The Forbidden West is also home to new tribes. And some of them are peaceful and others are hostile. And one of these hostile tribes has discovered the knowledge of how to override machines and use them as beasts of war in combat. One of the bigger machines is the mammoth-like Tremor Tusk. It's loaded with weapons and heavy plated armor. And it's already dangerous when you encounter it in the wilds. But when it's specially outfitted by the tribes, it's even more dangerous. The Forbidden West harbors an even greater challenge. That's a collapsing biosphere. A red blight infects the lands, is choking wildlife and starving animals and tribes. And the weather has spiraled out of control, generating massive supercell storms that flood canyons and fields. Aloy will have to go to great lengths in order to save this world. As the game is built and designed on mystery, we don't want to spoil all the surprises today. We have been working very hard in order to create a worthy sequel one that will hopefully appeal to all the fans, but also newcomers to the franchise. And we're aiming to release the game next year, in 2021. So that brings us to the end of the video. I need to know whether you're going to be buying this game. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the game as well. Until the next time, thanks for watching Channel Game IQ.